episode 40. You are listening to the new Glam Gal podcast, the podcast where style meets confidence. Conquer the frustration of trying on clothes and learn to dress and love the body you are in. There are no size or weight requirements here. I'm your host, Miss J. Join me, won't you? Hey, Glam Gal. Welcome back to the podcast. I cannot even believe it's episode 40. We're not quite at a year mark yet, but when we hit that, I will tell you the story of how this podcast came to be and the lovely women that have encouraged me along the way. That's a story for a different day, but I just cannot even believe I'm saying episode 40. It's just so exciting. This week's podcast episode, I'm going to talk about putting on your big girl panties and using your big girl words. Now, in my family, when you were little, if you got an owie or a boo-boo, you would go to the most adultiest adult you could find, and you would show them. You'd be like, I have an owie. And they'd be like, okay, like, how did you get the owie? Are you okay? I have an owie. They're like, yeah, yeah, I I know that, but like, where is it? What happened? Are you bleeding? Are you going to die? Yeah, but I have an owie. And If you sort of just kept repeating the same thing over and over again, they would say this little, I guess, ditty spiritual mantra. And I won't recite all of it, but it starts with sana sana. And if you're Puerto Rican or Cuban, likely somebody in your family has sort of lightly rubbed the imaginary area that hurts on you and told you basically health, health, sana, sana. And then there's a whole little rhyme that follows about butt of a frog. It's kind of like an enchantment spell that's supposed to make everything feel better. But you know to each their own. So in my family, you go, you tell them you have an owie. You can't really tell them where the owie is. You just know you sort of have one. And then someone says sana sana and you go away and you feel better. Like, wouldn't it be so nice if in real life that still worked? Wouldn't it be lovely if in real life you went to your friend and you said, I have an owie. And she's like, oh, babe, sana sana. And you just felt better. Wouldn't that be amazing? I mean, I seriously would love for that to happen. But here's what kind of happens in real life. And I'm going to give you a current real life example of my own. So you can see how your inner five-year-old has been running around saying, I have an owie. And you're expecting people to say, sana sana. And you'll feel better magically. Because that's the way it worked when you were five. Recently, I was talking to my friend Liz, a fellow coach. But when I was talking to her recently, I said, I feel blue today. And she's like, tell me more. And I said, well, I feel blue. Like, duh, that just should mean everything. I feel blue. And I love that I have friends who will stop me in my tracks and say, well, what does that mean? And I'm paraphrasing, but essentially my friend said to me, you're too smart to use such vague language. You have at your disposal so many other words that are more descriptive, that give me an actual idea of what's going on for you. Tell me more. Don't just tell me you feel blue. That means nothing. You're not taking action. You committed to doing certain things. You don't feel like doing them today. Saying I feel blue just isn't enough. Give me more. Tell me more. Use your big girl words, essentially what she was telling me, to put my big girl panties on and use my big girl words to actually describe for her what was happening, how I was feeling. And when we got to the root of it, because I realized I had been, I'd been had, (laughs) essentially, I couldn't get away with just chalking it up to feeling blue. Now, I do have chronic depression, so there are bouts of time where I feel depressed and I can't really put my finger on it. But that wasn't one of those times. And if I was being completely honest with myself in the moment, that was not one of those times where I feel depressed, which is a different sensation to me than just feeling blue. It's like going to someone and saying, I have an owie. And they're like, where's the owie? And you know you actually have a scraped knee that's bleeding versus you just have a generalized sense of disquietude. There's a big difference. So here is where I want to turn it over to you, Glam Gal. 
I know that there are days in terms of our style where we just don't feel like getting dressed. We don't feel like putting on the makeup. We don't even feel like combing our hair. Putting on a bra is like a feat. Like we have climbed a freaking mountain because we put on pants. I'm not without sympathy. Clearly, I too have those days. But I want to challenge you. When you have those days where you don't feel like it, where you don't want to put on your big girl panties, you don't want to get dressed, putting on a bra feels like a struggle. Instead of just saying, I don't feel like it today, I don't want to, I don't know why, stop in your tracks and realize that you're presenting the world with a boo-boo and not defining and describing where the boo-boo is, what it feels like. The reason you need to do that is because if we can put a name on what's actually happening, we are better able to either just allow it to happen and be fully aware, no confusion, or we can work through it, or we can solve for it in some sort of way. But simply saying, I don't feel like it, I don't know what's happening, is just not a good enough answer anymore. You are too smart for that. You have too many words available to you. You have too many tools available to you to just simply stop at, I don't feel like it today. I have a boo-boo. I have an owie. I want you to check in with yourself. What's actually happening? For me, it's because I felt like I was overwhelmed. So instead of saying to my friend, I feel overwhelmed. There's stuff that I know I should do, but I don't want to do it today because I think it's not going to be that great. So why bother? I mean, I was in full effort mode. And instead of being honest with myself and her, for that matter, that I just had a case of the fuckets, and being dishonest with her and being dishonest with myself and just calling it blue, this amorphous blue feeling, There's no way to move through that. There's no way to solve for it. Now, sometimes we just have to allow the feeling to pass. Some days you're just not going to feel like it. And you do stuff anyway, fully acknowledging you don't feel like it. Fully acknowledging that you're going to do it even if it doesn't turn out great. You're going to put on clothes even if the outfit isn't the one you dream of when you go to sleep at night. That you're going to put on makeup fully realizing that maybe an hour from now, most of it will have sweated off of you or greased off of you because you didn't use moisturizer and haven't had enough water that day. I want you to start challenging yourself and not use vague words, not presenting yourself with an amorphous boo-boo or an owie and not getting to the bottom of it. If a little kid came up to you and they had a scraped knee, that's more identifiable. You can do something about that. But if they're just telling you have an alley and they don't tell you where or why or what happened, you can't really be of help to them. You can't be of service to this little kid presenting you with a boo-boo. And saying sana sana only goes so far. But we're big girls now. And we need to use our big girl words and put on our big girl panties. You can start with, I have an owie, I have a boo-boo, and then say, well, what's happening? Where's the owie? Where's the boo-boo? What does it feel like? And then, what are we going to do about it? That's really the important part. And I know we don't normally get there, right? We want to put a Band-Aid on things. So let's take our analogy to a further extent. Let's say we have a scraped knee presented to us. But I mean, it's like a really bad scraped knee. And it's like really bleeding. You have the option of saying sana sana and letting the bleeding just continue, continue on, dripping everywhere. You could put a Band-Aid on it and maybe stop the flow for a little while. Or you could go get the damn thing checked out, call for some help, maybe get some stitches. Get some professional eyes on that ish. You have the same options available to you, glam gal. You could really wake up in the morning and say, I don't feel like it. I feel blue and leave it there. Hide under the covers. And you can let days of just blue continue on and on and on. I've done this. You could complain to your friends. They could tell you sana sana. And then the blue just sort of continues. You just feel blue. 
and all the sana sana nice words in the world really do nothing for you, but you go on your merry way. Or you could put a Band-Aid on it. You could put on some outfit, put on some makeup, do those weird daily affirmations, even though you kind of feel like you're punching yourself in the face, but you're going to try. Or you can go get some professional help and get some eyes on that ish. I know that even I need to reach out sometimes. If you are a self-sufficient gal like I am, and sana sana and platitudinal words do not work for you, you will try to find your own band-aid. And they'll work for only so long. And then even I, my darling, darling glam gal, even I need to reach out for help sometimes too. Even I need professional eyes on my own ish. And I have a wonderful network of friends who are willing to tell me the truth about myself. I have a Miss Didi. I have a Miss Sherelle. I have a Miss Justine. I have a Miss Miranda. I have a Miss Liz. Thank God for these amazing women in my life who are no shame in telling me about myself because they actually love me. And they know that sana sana and a pretty mermaid band-aid are not going to cut it. And yes, I have mermaid band-aids. Do not judge. (laughs) So next time, glam gal, when you hear yourself saying, I feel blue, I don't feel like it, I don't know what's wrong, I want you to stop. And I want you to ask yourself, tell me more. Give me some more words. I am both beauty and brains. I have words at my disposal that I can use to name this thing that I am going through, to give it a description, to call that sucker out so that I can get help that's more than a Band-Aid, so that I know what to look for in the help that I seek. When I have depression, I go to people who can help me with depression. If I have problems dressing myself, I go to a stylist who can teach me how to dress myself for work or for play or for being a mom because I know what my problem is. I've put words to it, lessen its power over me. It's not this amorphous thing hanging over my head. I've called it by name. I put on my big girl panties and I use my big girl words to find real big girl help. And this is so important because so many of you isolate. You're afraid to take up the help that's out there. You're afraid to give it a name because you think if you actually call it what it is, you'll somehow be crippled like it has this power outside of you. If I say I'm depressed, what does that mean about me? Nothing, boo-boo. Welcome to being a human. I feel anxious today. Welcome, my darling. I don't know how to dress myself. I don't recognize my own body in the mirror. I'm filled with self-loathing. We give it a name. And we put on our big girl panties just by calling it a name and using our big girl words, then we have specified help available to us. And it's not just presenting someone with a boo-boo or an owie. We know which kind of doctor can fix that kind of boo-boo or owie. Does it hurt in your eye? Does it hurt in your big toe? Is it your booty? What hurts? Now we know what kind of doctor to go find to help you. The same applies here because sana sana doesn't cut it platitudes and affirmations without any real help behind them do not help you. And you deserve all the love and all the help in the world right now. So my darling glam gal, your mission, should you choose to accept it on a mindset front, is when you hear yourself saying, I don't feel like it, I don't wanna, I don't know what's wrong, I feel blue, put on them big girl panties, bust out those big girl words, And reach out for some help. I'm a resource available to you. A free resource available to you. I offer one-on-one free coaching calls. Let's put a name to it. And I will help you get specified help for what you need. And if I'm not the one who helped you, I can direct you to someone who can. That's the beauty of being a coach and knowing other coaches. Your style homework is to get dressed anyway. And I'm not saying force yourself 
into an outfit or a girdle or a bra. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a minimum baseline of self-care. Now, on days in the past when I have felt quote-unquote blue or I have actual depression, the best thing I can do for myself is these teeny tiny acts of self-care. Actually getting out of my pajamas and taking a shower. Now, if you've suffered from depression, you know what a big feat that can be. You tell yourself the following. I can put on pants today. I'm capable of putting on some pants. I can put on a bra today. I'm capable of putting on a bra. I can put on a shirt today. I'm capable of putting on a shirt. I'm capable of washing my face, doing my hair, chapstick, drinking a glass of water, taking some vitamin D. These teeny tiny little acts of self-care are very stylish. And usually, my clients find when they forge ahead, these little style acts, these random acts of style, when they're able to do these, they're usually better able to identify the source of the blue feeling. They can better tell me where their owie is, where their boo-boo lies. And I'm not going to hit them with just some sana sana nonsense because that's not how we roll around here. All right, glam gal, your mission, twofold. Don't take I feel blue or I don't know as an answer. You challenge that. Where does it hurt? When did it start? What happened? And second, random acts of style. That's all that's required to push you forward. And as always, I'm here to help. If you go to my website, judithgatan.com, you can sign up for the free course. Always feel free to email me coach at judithgatan.com and we can get you squared away with some one-on-one coaching. All right, let's get it, Glam Gal. Miss J out.